Hey everybody, Brian Garcia, Meteorologist, National Weather Service, San Francisco Bay Area, Monterey Bay Regents want to give you the Tuesday afternoon update somewhere around 4.05 p.m. here. And this is the latest satellite imagery. Satellite shows a very elongated area of low pressure really getting stretched out there. This is a this is an area of low pressure that, that is not long for this world, but it's going to try to linger on for as long as it can. Uh, so the, look at that cold front really stretching down from really kind of Mendocino County down way past 30 and down and even into 20 north. Let's take a look at the surface analysis from uh, the Ocean Prediction Center from a little bit earlier today and you can see it, it's a area of low pressure that elongated low eventually it'll merge into one low and it looks like it'll go through another um, area of evolution and it'll deepen just a little bit but we got this beautiful frontal boundary here and you can see this dashed blue line here that is a dissipating cold front so if we go out to tomorrow morning so about 4 a.m. tomorrow morning, you can see that that low has merged into one uh, one cohesive low, hopefully by that point. But it's really not going to move far. It's just going to kind of wobble in place there as it kind of goes through this uh, transition phase. And then once we get out into Thursday morning, you can see that low there again, just kind of wobbling around here. And it looks like another low might develop uh, around that area and just kind of wobble around with it. So again, you got a nice frontal boundary here hanging off the coast uh, and coming down all the way past 20 north. And what this will do is just continue to feed clouds up across our area. And again, it all depends upon how close this low actually wobbles towards the coast um, to say how much rain that we could potentially get and we'll look at that here in just a moment but if we go out to the morning of the 17th this is the morning of the 17th so friday morning <clears throat> that will be um again double barreled low out here so this those just kind of hanging out just taking up shop here with this uh weak front just kind of lingering around it's not a very strong low but it's going to be a persistent little a uh, little low there by the time we get out into saturday morning that low looks like it lifts up to the northeast a little bit and then it will continue on uh, to fill in time and dissipate you can see again those dashed blue line there and even the dashed red those are dissipating fronts so a weakening system and so if we look at the um the forecast here in terms of model land this top chart here this is all uh, 12 hour precip and the bottom one here is 24 hour precipitation and this gives us an idea of what we could potentially look at for how much rain we could get what the probabilities of getting certain amounts of rain are and so as we go into uh, Wednesday it doesn't look like a lot and then as we get into uh, later in the day on Wednesday uh, so starting the day without a lot but as we go into the day on Wednesday it looks like the probabilities of precipitation go up but the amounts do not look to be that great and this site that I'm that I've got focused on here is downtown San Francisco and then as we get into Thursday the probabilities go down a little bit but look at this on Friday 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 the probabilities really shoot up upwards of 80 percent probability of getting about a quarter inch of rain over a 24-hour period so that is uh, that's something we're definitely going to have to watch in terms of Friday and then the rain really starts to taper off as we go down into um, Saturday and Sunday just going back to Friday Friday here really quick in the 24 hour graph down here you can see some of these oranges that's greater than two inches of rain in downtown San Francisco the odds of that happening are, are about four percent or less so not high odds of that happening in other words uh, this model here is really keeping things farther off the coast so the official forecast going through Saturday there you can see the official forecast uh, um, from now through Saturday, an inch and a half, two inches of rain for San Francisco, Santa Cruz Mountains, a bit more, uh, Big Sur Mountains out there in the Santa Lucias, uh, a bit more, probably upwards of three to four inches of rain. And North Bay has already gotten a little bit of rain up there. They could add another couple inches of rain in the mountains, maybe uh, about an inch down in the 101 corridor. So all told, it's going to be uh, continued to be a very uncertain forecast as that low wobbles off of the coast. So pay attention. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and by all means, be good to one another. See everybody. Bye.